It is turtle nesting season, and inside the Bird Island Sanctuary on the beach, Tammy, Joe, and Jesse have been camping out since Sunday, waiting for this nesting female to arrive. They hit pay dirt early this morning. We, we let her go through her whole natural process um, from body pitting when they just kind of clear a space in the vegetation in preparation for the nest. She dug her, um, her, her egg chamber, laid the eggs, covered them, and uh, camouflaged them really well. And uh, she did that for about at least an hour or two. And then she started crawling out to come out to the water, and that's when we put her in the turtle corral. Once the turtle is in custody, the team quickly goes to work installing a satellite tag on her back. Basically a satellite transmitter, yeah. And so basically we use fiberglass resin, um, same sort of thing that you'd use to repair your, your boat with, um, and matting. The device will send out a signal for the next few months, giving them valuable insight into where our nesting females go. Uh, we can use this information to share with students and to let them know that this is a female turtle that came up on a beach on Saipan and we need everybody's help to protect her and um, let's keep her alive. Turtles are travelers. They can hold their breath underwater for well over an hour and they are fast. They usually go like 25 miles per hour but they sometimes they could go up to 35. But how far they go and where they go is not fully understood. What is understood is that an event like this is a special occasion. There's thought to be less than 10 nesting females on Saipan, and conservation officers are hoping that by better understanding our turtles, they can design better ways to protect them. Now, what do you think she's thinking right now? She can, she can hear us. She knows that we're here, and she um, is sort of in, like, turtles put their heads into their shell and wait for the danger to pass. Well, I think she's she's probably pretty sleepy just like us because she's had a long night of nesting. She's been working on this nest here since about, I think, uh, 11, uh, 11.40 or so. She came up the first time, uh, then went back into the water, came back up again, and she's been digging and, and nesting for probably about three hours before we started this process even. So. This turtle mama is being called Kumiko, named after a Rhoda turtle volunteer who recently passed away. After a long night, it's time for her to head to wetter pastures.